Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe, I'm actually starting off the video like this. I, did I just say video? Oh my God, my, my refuse side came out, guys. I'm starting out the video with a shot that came right behind the tree of death. So it looks like, it looks like somebody had done maintenance in this area at Black Point. So we got a nice little CV coming through with the uh, Trip 300, it's a nice pro line. I came early today because I want to do something different. Dude, the tree of death has been trimmed. Oh my God, look, look at it. Look guys, wait, wait, let me see if I can get the, somebody, somebody has done a hatchet job. We need to find out guys, make sure this is actually from the park um, because we want to make sure everything is done properly here. But I think, I think it, it was the park and I'll tell you why, because I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, we got a little wall craft coming in or well, coming out a lot of people are going out. I'm coming in early I'm trying something new today, but let me tell you why I think That was the staff here Because Let this pass let, let this boat pass through It's guys. It's, it's early, but hold on. Let me show you why if you look here See all this area is not maintained and then they cut all of that area. So uh, and they do, they do cut them back because I've seen them before. I've seen them working on it. So that's, that's great news. Um, let me see. Oh God, I just got here and there's already a Barcero. All right. Wow. That's a, hold on. Let me adjust here. Guys, we got, we got a shot. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we have... <laughs> Just began another chit show over here at Black Point Marina. My name is Alfred Montaner, and uh, I came late in the day, guys. But it's interesting. A lot has been going on. A lot has gone on. Let me get some zooms, and we'll we're gonna have a little chit chat, a little chit chat on the chit show, because uh, that's what we're gonna have to do over here. What's going on over here, dude? I can't really get that shot. There's too much sun over there. Let's. Let's go ahead and see what's up with uh, this pro line coming in. This sea fox that just passed through was revving up that Johnson like uh, like crazy. Let's see, maybe we got a better dock. Ooh, the sun is beaming and it's kind of messing up the shot, but we're gonna see what we can do, guys. Oh boy, it's crazy. Let me tell you something. You're you're on the chit show right now, baby, right now. And, and you're gonna become a star. Wait for it. Wait for, uh oh, uh oh. I mean, why do you do that to yourself? Why do you do that to yourself? You have a family, you have a family. No, oh God, this is not supposed to happen like this. Ladies, come on, there's 12 of you. Actually, there's 22 of you right now. Oh. Now, now she's like, damn, I, I, I regret bringing attention to this guy. Well, we'll try again, guys. We got a pull of fate touch, but, but, oh, they're bringing out the pole, guy. They're bringing out the pole for the pole. It, this is when it gets good, guys. And remember, if you touch the pole and you're not on it, that's, that's always a good way, <laughs> a good thing to deal with in life. Oh boy, man! I just got here, guys. I'm, I'm sorry this started off so good. I really do. I want to, I want to apologize before, but I also have some breaking news. I mean, I feel like uh, I'm one of these news uh, channels now. All right. Well, she got off. She got off, but he's like, I'm, I'm turning it off. I'm turning it off. I'm turning it off. But they brought out the pole, guys. They got out the pole to touch the pole of faith. So. You know what? Teamwork makes the dream work. Somebody didn't get the back line, so now we have another problem. Oh boy, oh man, damn. No, this is not good. This is not good. Oh, there's a couple fighting behind me, guys. Oh boy. 
All right, well, they were on it. You guys were on it. You guys, you, you came to my attention and I put you on the show. Thank you. That was awesome. That was an awesome clip, guys. So what do we got over here? We got, we got Suntex closed. People squeezing in between two boats. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Watch, watch this, guys. Watch this. Hold on, hold on, guys. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see. They're young people. I can play around with them. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hey, you guys mind toning it down a little bit? I'm shooting a show here. This is like a serious show. I need you guys to stop fighting, please. Yeah, well, I mean... Yeah, I know, but you're fighting. You're fighting and I'm shooting a show. Yeah, well, we're fishing there and, and I don't know... You were fishing here? Yeah. You want to come back? Okay, come. I don't have the Rona. I'm just kidding, bro. I'm just playing around with you. <laughs> I told you I was going to get him. Now I'll sweet talk him. Oh, relax. Don't worry about it. I'll sweet talk him now. If you want to fish there, there's a croc that comes here. I don't know if you've seen my videos yet, but no, yeah. there's, a, there's, a, there's a croc that comes through. But He's a local croc, but there's not really... If you really want to try to catch fish, I would try tell you to come to that first dock that comes out or go to the jetty in the end, to the right side, if you want to try yeah, to catch fish. Yeah, yeah. There's no fish here. You'll, you'll waste your time. You can check out my channel, rib fishing. It's so set up everything here. And if you want here, you're more than welcome to stay. But I, like I'm saying, it'll be, I'd guide you wrong. And I put you on there because I wanted to kind of like, you see you guys, you, you guys are like stressing here. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on here? <laughs> All right, well, but whatever. If you guys want me to move, I'll, I'll be more than happy to move, okay? okay so yeah. it's, uh, if you're here, I mean, there was nobody there, but I see that you're setting up here and I can understand yeah. that. All right, you're cool? Yeah, yeah, we're chilling. Yeah, yeah. You're sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you okay with me putting that clip? No, no, yeah, you do, yeah. You're sure? Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. It wasn't her fault, right? <laughs> no, no, no. It, you, you, you started him up. I saw that you were fighting with him. Oh, it was her, right? It, it was her, right? Yeah, it was a little bit, yeah. You guys are a couple? Yeah, yeah. How long have you guys been together? Like a year and a half. Yeah, like a year. Oh, you guys got to better get that fixed. <laughs> you, you go, go catch a big fish. That'll fix everything. <laughs> All right, guys. There we go. Operation. There's no fish here. Only crocs. When the croc, when the croc view happened, which is true. I mean, there's no fish here, guys. They're gonna waste their time here. There's, there's literally no fish here. Trust me when I tell you, there's no fish here. Oh, nicer. Okay. They call them. Oh, look at the dolphins! Look at the dolphins! Look at the dolphins! Look at them! Their dolphins just passed through here. Like I said, I had a good time playing around with the young couple. Um, some, some videos, some videos, and some clips are never shown on YouTube, and some are. There's many like that that I just don't put for, for whatever reason. There's, there's de definitely reasons, but you got a little Grady White coming in. Oh, the Chicho, my, my beloved Chicho. And the tree of death, guys. The tree of death has been machetazo, bro. Machetazo in the house. Somebody has taken a machete to the tree of death, guys. And we actually have, I wouldn't say we have the entire, wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it, wait, wait, wait for it, hold on. I wouldn't say we have everything, the whole pier, the whole dock, I'm sorry, but it's getting there. It's getting there, it's getting there. And uh, look at this, guys. Look at the tree of death it was right here. Now, now, I mean, now we have the sun death, which I can't see nothing. Oh my God, I can't see nothing at all over there right now. Oh boy, I'm telling you, it's gonna get full today. The block is hot. Um, I need a nice little cloud right now, guys. I need a little cloud to go ahead and dampen that sun a little bit so that reflection of the sun don't just mess up my shot here because I actually can get all the way to, to wow, I can, I can go pretty far back there now. This is crazy, guys. Oh boy. Oh no. I 
I don't I don't speak Chihuahua though, sorry. Alright guys, I think we got I think we gotta a wait for it. I think we gotta wait for it. Wait, wait for it. Come on. Dude, we got balsero music already, bro. I just got here. <sighs> They're not even here. They're not even on the boat and there's Barcelona music. Oh wow. We have a grab problem, guys. We have a grab problem. They decided to bring out the... Oh, by the way, we need the, the ropes. Right? You get to the docks and you're like, oh, oh we need ropes? We do. We need, we, we need ropes, guys. We need ropes. We can see the Chicho fans now, which we normally wouldn't be able to see every day. You know, we still have a little, uh, a little bit of the Tree of Death, but uh, I don't know. Crazy, to say the least. Not a lot of, not a lot of boats coming in. What is going on here? Did I come too late? Maybe I did. How was the fishing, Captain? Good. I'll zoom in on it. Let me see what we got. Those guys are always catching fish, guys. Monster 3X, guys. It's getting, it's, the sun's coming down. Um, people wanted to take advantage before that storm comes so I don't know maybe tomorrow maybe you might have the last little leg of people that are watching the storm that it's still far away so they're like ah, let's go out you know but those people that are coming out of Hallover oh my goodness those people are getting slaughtered right now because those waves and that tide oh. Got it like a champ, like a champ. Where's Mr. Croc at, bro? Where are you at, bro? I know you're around here somewhere. Don't be acting crazy like I don't see you. I, I know you're around somewhere. Guys, smash that like if you see that croc. It's funny because you guys actually notice the croc before I do. I'm, I'm, I'm even editing the footage and you're like, hey, 516, the croc over there in the left corner, uh, making a scene. Having a threesome with the manatee. I, I don't know. You guys just put the craziest thing on the comments. We got a Sundancer just came in. Guys, some of you guys ask what that rolled up thing is on the back. That's basically like a floating dock that people just lay their stomach on. And that's what that is. So you guys, you know, sometimes don't see that. That's basically what it is. They just roll it out there and everybody could just, you know, hang out, lay on it, put their stomach on it and just chill and talk. And those, that's what that is. A lot of times people ask me when I, when I film them. Uh, these guys dropped off their friends. They're hanging out with, they're just gonna go back in the water and chill. Call it a night. Isn't that the life, guys? You just, you know, and enjoy the day with your friends. You drop them off. You go back to the islands. You go, you sleep, you chill. You have a good time with like-minded people. That's what boating's about. I mean, you know, it's unfortunate a lot of people don't know about boating. It, re it really is. I mean, and it's not for everybody. Everybody doesn't like to be out in the water. I mean, I, I understand that, you know, so. But when you do like it, it's just, this is the place to be. We got something coming in, guys. What do we got coming in now?
Where's that croc, bro? Where is that croc? I know he's around here somewhere. I smell him, bro. I smell him. Little concept 23. That thing looks like it flies. Got a Mercury 200. Well, they did a good job. They did a good job there with the uh, docking on the little 23 concept. Um, I think, I think either I came too late or, or the people are still partying and they're all gonna come in at once. Or, or there's also a possibility that people, it just, they're like, they're scared of going out. It was windy today. Dude. Why is he just... Hold on, hold on. Wow, guys. Damn, he just went down. He might come to the docks. Let's see. Let's see if he comes to the docks, guys. Let's see. He might come to the fillet table. Little crockety crock. What should we name him? We should name this crock. All right, guys, listen. I want you guys to comment below. All right, we're going to have to give this crock a name. And if, the, if he has a local name over here, just go ahead and, and, and give me the name because I'm going to disregard it anyways. But... Put it down below because I want to know what his former name was because we're going to, I know, we're, we're going to call him Becky or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just playing, guys. But we, we, we should name the croc. I mean, I don't know. We, we, we got to establish if it's a male or female first. So let's see if may, maybe we go ahead and get somebody that tells us. If I'm not, so, I think it's at Barker Boats, if I'm not mistaken, Barker. Uh, put the comment below in the, in the comment section, guys. What, what do we got?
Got a little Robalo that just passed through right now. Little Robalo coming in. They'll probably go on the further docks, and guess what? We might be able to get him now. Because the tree of death has been slashed. Wow, that's crazy. I never thought that would happen. I I'll be honest with you, I didn't think it was gonna happen. But they did maintenance. They cut the grass. You know, and, and what happens, I, I don't know, what are the call those things? I mean, they just get stuck to your clothes and they pinch you everywhere. I don't know, guys. I, I don't even know what anything is called anymore. After 40, you lose your brain. Everything hurts in the morning. It's just the weirdest thing, bro. Don't ever, anything over 40, I feel, I feel for you. Oh, speaking of over 40, I want to give a shout out to a gentleman by the name of Arthur, who is 80 years old and he gave me a call and he was like man i loved your i loved your miami river story he started off the conversation with you don't know me from a bag of chips but i was in miami last time in 1960 and it didn't look like anything you showed i was like wow this is kind of cool conversation let's go old man let's do this let's bounce back and forth so it's kind of cool i appreciated that and uh you know, it's good. I'm glad that, you know, look, if I can get that response for just one person, that whole day of filming is worth it. We don't get this every day over here at the, on the Chicho. And I'm a ribbo guy, bro. The world famous jet tender Williams in the house. Look at that thing, bro. Good 45, 50 mile per hour. That is, uh, that is a tender for a yacht. So when you see something like that anywhere, guys, you know there's a yacht close by and uh, maybe they need supplies, maybe they need something, but there's a yacht close by. We'll go back to uh, regularly scheduled programming since we were rudely interrupted by that amazing rib boat. Oh, I love ribs, I just love ribs. What's up man, how you doing bro? How are you bud? Everything good bro, here hanging out. What's up with you guys? I'm still waiting for the rates. For the, oh, for the for for the silver sands. Uh, for yesterday. For the silver sands, bro. I was impressed. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you too, bro. I'm a big fan of your yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. 129, 149. The water ones were 300 bucks. No, but, but the one that you said that it was good for your family away from the water. Uh, uh, under, uh, under 300. Dude, and it's huge, and it's right in front of the pool. Under 300 bucks, but it's right next to the Ritz Carlton. Right next to the same beach. The same beach. 129 is facing the parking lot. So you have the, the parking, if you, it's a location play. If you want to just hang out, they, they didn't smell bad. Bro, the, 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 the property was, honestly, I, I expected like, Okay, this is this has been here 50 years. Remember, that property was right next to the Sinesta. The okay. Sinesta was the main hotel in Key Biscayne. And then the Ritz Carlton came and then the Sinesta eventually closed down and they rebuilt some condos there. The Silver Sands was always getting the everything else the Sinesta didn't have. Okay. And they've been here like 50 years. So I, I, I started talking to the owner and uh, Yeah, it's I've cool. I'm a big fan of even, even staying anywhere in, in, in Key Biscayne, Dude, which I should be. It's, a, it's, a it's super place. cool. It's super cool. Oh, Key Biscayne is, look, you, you ain't going to find a safer place in Miami. Right. You're, I mean, if somebody's going to, you know, hurt it's you. It's one not, way in, one yeah, way out. Yeah, you got one way in, one way out. So you're not going to, you're not going to have crime problems. Right. You see the, 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 the people that are living on the island, they let the kids 14, 15 years old, get them, get the golf cart and they're just with their golf carts all around the city, you know, so. Honestly, I have seen that place and I, I've always overlooked it. Hmm. And then I was like, wow. Is it passing the 7-Eleven? You know where the... Yes. You know where, right, the right the, you know where the park is? Right where the park is. Right, where the, the right when the park starts, it's right there. It's right there. Guys, I got a subscriber here. He says you just saw the Miami, uh, like a secret uh, beaches video that I did and... I'm, I'm explaining to him, uh, you know, kind of like some of the areas on that video and it, it's Key Biscayne is just, it's a badass little city, but there's only two hotels in the whole city uh, other than Airbnb. And I found 
a little mom and pop old school place that literally has the the owner was telling me they they can't even modify things in that area because those three rooms are the only three rooms so close to the beach hmm. like literally the beach uh the actual sand of the beach is right there i was like wow okay so it's a location play i mean if you're looking to stay in 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 a really really upscale you just go to the ritz but you're gonna spend three times more all right housekeeping no, just kidding just kidding all right all right so here it is this is it guys i don't know the square footage but it seems pretty spacious This is the view though. This is it. He was telling me that I don't know if there's an ordinance or something, but they can't really change certain things. If not, they had they they can't take advantage of uh, the fact that they're the closest to the sand of all the places. It looks like it's, 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 it's very clean. I don't see anything nasty or dirty. It's painted. It's nice. Um, you, you would think, you know, because it's an older hotel, resort, but... Let's see? There you go. So, hey. I wouldn't mind having a couple beers in here and just coming outside. Let's see. Oh. Oh my god, it was open already. That's crazy. <laughs> That's funny. Well, that now these would be the most expensive rooms of this property. Okay, so let's make sure that you guys understand that because of the view, these three would be the most expensive. So let's go check out a more affordable option. Oof, ooh, ooh, oh, 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 man, the rush. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, boy. Ow, that hurt. There's That's a Pat Express moment right there for sure, guys. Ow, ow, oof. Get the band-aids. That is not good. Oof. They call them, oh, look at the dolphins, look at the dolphins. Look at the dolphins, look at them. Their dolphins just passed through here. Oh man, the dolphins are just passing through here, guys. That is crazy. We've seen them, they're gonna, they're gonna hang, look at them, look, look at them over here. Oh, that is sweet. So they're gonna go, that's the manatee, that's the manatee over there. But the dolphin just literally, yeah, yeah, they, they, go, to, they go to the bar over there. <laughs> they don't necessarily go to the bar, but you'll see them over there at the bar at the restaurant hanging out that is crazy so so what i was telling you is the i met the owner of life proof and then i ended up finding out that the owner of life proof was the person who started safe boats so think about it safe boat is more commercial industrial military you know fwc game and wildlife all that so they're making a lot of those boats and then he still has a good portion of that company. And that's the gentleman. Is that the guy that you dropped off? He doesn't let me film him. Okay. The, 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 well, the, 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 the one, that's the CEO. That is the Are CEO. The boats that you're talking about? That's the boat that I'm talking Bro, about. That's a beautiful it is a beautiful boat. It's incredible. And it, it handles incredible. Guys, we're talking about the life proof boats. He's talking about a video that I did with Micah, the CEO of life proof. And what I'm trying to tell him is the story behind LifeProof. And the owner from LifeProof 
does not let me film him. I joke with him and I mess around with him all the time. He's just very private and he doesn't want to be filmed. And I always tease him, I'm filming you, but he knows I'll never put him on is camera. Company out of Florida? They're out of uh, Bremerton, Washington. And so is Safe Boats. Okay. So then the owner of LifeProof, I said, hey, can you get me into uh, right. to Safe Boats and I want to do a tour of them? And he goes, I don't know. And I was like, and I, and I started teasing him. I go, well, you know, Normally when I'm the boss, I go ahead and tell people when things get done, he goes, be there tomorrow at eight. So, so there's the story. <laughs> so at eight in the morning, he had to inconvenience one of the guys over there at Safe Boat, which was a very nice guy, by the way. And he did an incredible tour of the factory. So, yes, that was a very good but you see, those are behind the scenes stories that nobody knows, right? So, right. and his name is Bill Hansen, guys. If you want to look him up, maybe you can find a picture. I doubt you'll find a picture of him, hmm. but uh, very, very nice guy. And he's, he's got an incredible company perfectly well run and uh, the, 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 the team there is just incredible and the product when you walk the facility and you see the pride that those guys take in building that boat it doesn't get any better than that that's like top of the food chain they call it they, the, the, the guys over there at the show when I was in Seattle they were coming up to the boat and they're like this is what you call boat jewelry wait wait guys look look who just showed up oh no you know what I wasn't recording oh you weren't I, 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 I didn't press the button Guys, the croc just pulled up. He just actually, oh my God. I just saw him, guys. Hold on. What's your name back there behind me? Jose, if I got to run, bro, just go to the right, <laughs> just in case. All right, guys, the croc is literally, where did he go now? He's got to be around here, dude. I, I know one day is, you know, I know one day is going to happen. He's, he, he's just going to creep up on me and I'm going to lose my camera. I know it's going to happen because look, think about that. That's not even that far where he was. And now you see what happens. Now I'm in petrol. So I, I'll, I've been here and I've seen a manatee pass through here and I think it's him. So I freak out. Silver Sands Resort. Silver Sands Resort in Key Biscayne. 129 bucks. I mean, 129 bucks for a parking view. But hey, if you just if you just want to go ahead and just throw a towel while you go to the beach, 129 bucks just throw your towel over there and just it's, it's not like you want to sleep there. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> you go to a dirty hotel, a dirty motel in Okeechobee, you spend more than that. Not that I would know, but just in case my wife's watching, but I've heard stories. How do you know about the executive? I, know, right? <laughs> I hope your wife doesn't watch. <laughs> I'm single, man. I'm good. All right, guys. All right, so single Jose is over here talking smack with me here at the dock. We got some barceros in the background. I hear them. Where are the barceros? Uh oh, they're coming. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys. Well, listen, we're going to end it with that. I want to thank you guys for watching my channel. My name is Alfred Montaner, and we are out like the trash on a Monday. Let's get out of here. Hey, Jose, don't go to the executive, bro. Don't go to the executive. I'm out of here. Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.